Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Rumen in Love. In this video today, I'm going to be getting 10 stars in Silent Hill 4 using the paper cutting knife. This is very similar to my previous video where I got 10 stars, 10 stars with the bug spray. But in this video, I'm going to try not to skip building world second time because I want there to be at least one video on this channel where I do perform the 10 star rank in Silent Hill 4 without skipping building world. And that will be with this video. So, yeah, nothing new, nothing fancy. This is, I, I already 10 starred this game twice on my channel. So, um, there might be some new things here and there. I might give some new commentary, might give some new advice, but it's basically just going to be the same as the previous two, except I won't be skipping building world second time and I'll be using a new weapon. So that ought to be fun. I'm using a new control scheme actually. Previously, I would use type A, but now I'm using type C because I think that it makes combat a little easier because dodging with type A controls is kind of not very easy on the thumbs because you gotta press circle to dodge and X to attack. However, with type C, you push square to dodge and X to attack, which is much better than circle, if I'm being honest. Much, much better than circle. I kind of wish this cutscene triggered after you picked up this memo right here. Because then you just have to turn around and read it. When you were facing it before. Anyway. Over here. I'm going to try to play more cleanly than, than I did last time. I got a cough. <clears throat> I'm going to try to play more cleanly. In my previous runs, I would do very sloppy room, move, room movement. But I'm going to try to strafe more now because strafing in your room is faster than walking like regularly. It's faster to push up here over and over and over again <clears throat> instead of just um holding up. I'm not sure how much faster it is, but it is a little bit faster, so. All right, paper cutting knife. It's gonna be a fun challenge. Also, another cool thing about type um, C controls is that it makes running consistent between the Team Silent games. So that's pretty neat. Like uh, Silent Hill 1, 2, and 3, you use square to run. But in this game, you, you use circle. But with type C controls, you use square to run. And Silent Hill 4 as well. So it kind of harmonizes the control schemes, which I like. Oh my gosh, what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> I tried to maneuver around those chairs, but I just completely failed. Oh my gosh. All right, pick this up. Another thing about the controls in Silent Hill games is that like for some reason they they swapped the start and pause buttons. I mean the menu and pause buttons in the Team Silent games. So in Silent Hill 2, I'm pretty sure you press start to go into the menu and select the pause, but in Silent Hill 3, it's the other way around. That actually messes me up a lot because in Silent Hill 3, I'll be constantly pressing select to go into the menu 
and in Silent Hill 2, I'll constantly be pressing. I mean, in Silent Hill 3, I'll, I'll be pressing pause to go. I mean, start to go into the menu. In Silent Hill 2, I'll be going. I'll be pressing a uh, select to go into the menu when it's when that's not the case. Like I always confuse which game is which in terms of like how the buttons are laid out because for the most part they're identical except for the pause and menu buttons so yeah that was probably hard to follow everything i just said there but just know that the controls aren't consistent oh my god ah oh, fuck The camera changing, like, spun me around there. Damn it. <laughs> there. Rookie mistake. Oh my goodness. I'm going to run up here to get these pistol bullets just in case. I might want to shoot the wallman later. Even though it's slower to do that. It just makes everything a little easier. The thing that I can't wait for though, personally, is building world second time without skipping it. Because there aren't I don't think there are that many 10 star runs of this game on YouTube that don't skip building world second time. So I'm very excited to do, to do that in particular. Man, I, I, I got to cough a lot today. I don't know why. Henry, I found the exit. Oh my god. Henry, I found the exit. The, the reason why I made that really weird line at the start was because I was like trying to make this dog not be here with me. There. Okay. Like the dog is really honing on Henry in this game. Oh, I got flipped up. Go, 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 go.
I guess I just don't really feel like giving much commentary today. Don't know why. Hurry up and get that ambulance. Quit. Yeah, and mover already. She's got numbers carved into her chest. I wonder if. Oh my gosh. Even though I'm not giving much commentary at all, I am still going to link a version in the description of this with no commentary. Because all I have to do is just take my audio track out of the video track. And then it'll just be the gameplay audio, which is nice. All right, so something I can't say is that you definitely don't want to bother with the moth bats with the paper cutting knife because sometimes it just will not work. Like straight up, sometimes you will not be able to hit any moth bats with the paper cutting knife, like at all. So yeah, don't bother. Oh my god. They were hitting me a lot there. It's funny, moth bats are not any more aggressive on hard mode than easy mode. So the fact that they hit me so many times there is just bad RNG. Ideally, you only want to take three hits or less. Three or less. Two is great. One or zero is optimal. But if you're speed running this game, you know, it's not worth resetting over three hits. Oh my god. In my previous video, so that would be my 10 star bug spray video, I said that walking near sniffer dogs like never ever works, but it's like, it does work, but this is kind of hard to explain. It's, it's not that walking near sniffer dogs makes you avoid them, but it's more like running near sniffer dogs will aggro them. So when you walk near a sniffer dog, there is a chance it will still attack you. But when you run near a sniffer dog, it will definitely attack you. So if you walk near a sniffer dog and you're a good distance away and you're just being quiet, you know, that's a good way to avoid them, but it's just not guaranteed on hard mode. And when you're speedrunning the game, or when you're trying to get 10 stars, walking near them isn't ever really worth it, because you have to go pretty fast. Especially if you don't want to skip Building World a second time. If you want to do it legitimately, then you shouldn't waste time walking near Sniffer Dogs. Uh, I got hit by a bird. Okay, there go. 
Yeah, see, walking does work sometimes. Oh my gosh. There. I need to remember, I'm using a different control scheme now, so I'm probably going to get, like, my buttons confused. Like I said earlier, I'm using Type-C because I think it harmonizes the controls between the games better. Like it makes the like it makes the controls more similar to the Team Silent games and because Type-C just makes the combat a little better because it makes square dodge instead of circle. The trigger buttons also dodge, so L1 and R1 also dodge in this game, but they only dodge in certain directions. Like R1 only dodges to the right, L1 only dodges to the left. But circle, I mean the the face button dodge button, that will um have you dodge in every direction. I just I just burped. I'm so sorry. I do I do not mean to be gross or vulgar in these videos. I guess I'm just a little sick today, honestly. Personally, I, I prefer serpentining to dodging the sniffer dogs and walking because I just feel safer serpentining. For some reason, there's a little window between load screens in this game where you can pause. So it's, so it's like you can pause in the middle of the load between rooms, which is kind of funny. Like I have said before, this is my favorite Silent Hill game, but I will admit it's not super polished, honestly. I think it adds charm to the game. I think a little bit of unpolish adds a little bit of charm. Aren't there usually five in here? Listen to the sound this weapon makes when it hits this. I like it. That's a sound in this game not many people hear.
Whoa. Why was Henry so far away from the ladder there? It is technically faster to pick this up later, but I never really cared about that sort of thing. Can I get that one up there? No, that one's way too high. That one's coming down, actually. Ah, fuck it. I'm not gonna wait for that uh, tremor to come all the way down, so... Yeah. And four. There you go. There we go. I was hoping I would get a couple two at onces there.
No, Henry, lock onto the tremors on the wall, please. Ah, oh, this is shitty. Okay. I was trying to get the ones on the wall, but Henry wouldn't lock onto them because there was a twin victim like right there, so. And there's this weird thing about this game where sometimes Henry won't step on little enemies when there's a big enemy nearby. So, I guess I should just give it up. I'll, I'll get more kills later. Whatever, I don't need those tremor kills. I did get a few though. Are they called tremors? I think they're called tremors. Two at once, two at once. Ah. Uh. In my previous video, I said that I wasn't exactly sure if looking in your chest paused the in-game timer. Well, now I know for an absolute fact that looking in your chest does, in fact, pause the in-game timer. So that's pretty cool. You can do as much chest menuing as you want without wasting any without wasting any in-game time. There's a golf club here later. I kind of wish it was here now. Like right, right here later in the game is a golf club, but it's really out of the way. But it would be really convenient if that was like just like right there, like now on our first visit. But nah, no, the developers thought that would be too easy. And I respect it. Yeah, most people only pick up one uh, sort of obedience. I actually pick up two of them because I like to put that one in Cynthia more and I don't particularly care about going as fast as possible.
Ah, god damn it. I tried to walk. I tried to walk. an accident. I did not mean to examine that. I just wanted to get these pistol bullets. Nope, Henry picked those up. gonna hover over this nutrition drink just in case nope peter 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 go away the worst place the worst place Peter can be is directly under you, because he does the most damage that way. Peter is that ghost, by the way.
Looks like another one, Captain. Got... Honestly, I don't even need that either. One... One, two, one. On his head. It's just like that case from ten years ago. Yeah, that... Walter Sullivan... There's a really powerful golf club in room 207. I think it might actually be the most powerful golf club in the game, but I'm not gonna get it till later. I got this from Miss Galvin. She was younger than me back then. That was actually really fast because Henry basically stepped on two at once there and he also never stuttered between each step so pretty good good tremor killing apartment world good gold split I'm not timing this <laughs> It's funny, if I, if I sped ran a game, I would not like to time my runs, or at least have that time be visible to me while I'm running, because that would distract me. Like, if I'm speed running a game, and I notice I get a gold split, I'll just choke right then and there. The residue that ghosts leave behind when they come out of the walls like the sap that stretches after they leave that can actually damage Henry if you run into it as demonstrated there oh my god Henry yes
Oh my gosh. So bad at room movement. The song that plays in that cutscene just now is actually one of my favorite songs in the game. But it's only like 15 seconds long or something. I'm going to try to kill a couple of these moth bats. If they start flying after one step, then I'll just I'll just book it. Okay, that one's flying. Oh my gosh. Okay, go, go, go. That was actually really good. I got like four there, I think. Well, three or four. Sometimes they all fly after one of them. So you'll just step on one of the one of the moth bats and then they'll all get up and it's like stop. I think it's a good idea to pick this up during 10 star runs as backup. Because you can never be too safe. Good RNG, actually, because I want that. There's a chance I might not use it, but like just in case you want to get all the golf clubs you see. All right, pistol bullets. These ones aren't worth it. Oh, my gosh. What am I doing? What the fuck am I doing? Oh boy. <laughs> Not optimal at all to get those. Uh, nah. 
Actually, you know what? Oh my gosh. You never want to run into that room. This room always takes a little longer to load. Oh, that's funny. I can't get those ones. Look at that. Yeah, that one is gonna live. I can't get it. That's pretty funny. Oh. I remember when I first played this game, I uh I saw that the candle is next to those plants. So I was like maybe I need to light the candle next to those plants to make the plants come back to life and then I laid a holy candle right there, right where I found it and then I just wasted it. room oh my god whoops okay Eileen! Eileen! Oh, fuck. I didn't- I didn't see her there. Oh, boy. I was like, okay, the patients are coming. But where's Eileen? Top to your gameplay. I'm so good at this game. Be sure to like this video for epic Eileen strats. Because clearly, I'm the best person at taking care of Eileen. Also, I have to use that, unfortunately. I was hoping to save that for later, but. Nah. The game was like, no. Alright, over. Yeah. I'm bringing that with me just in case the the nutrition drink 
Because you really can never be too safe during a 10 star run, so. Oh my god, this is really bad luck. Alright. I'm picking up all of these saint medallions and all of these holy candles because if I notice that Eileen isn't really that possessed by Forest World, then I will go for the best ending. Eileen, oh my gosh. She just wouldn't move. One, one of the reasons why I play the PS2 version, or I emulate the PS2 version over playing the PC version, is because I swear Eileen actually has better pathfinding in the PS2 version. Like, I think she gets stuck more in the PC version. That might just be a placebo effect, though, honestly. There are a lot of other reasons why I played the PS2 version, but that's one of the reasons. Another reason why I played the PS2 version is because I don't really care about speed, so I don't really care about the the benefits of the a PC version when it comes to speedruns. And also, the PS2 version... And the Xbox version has more hauntings than the PC version. Um. Hmm. I'm wondering if I should bring a holy candle with me as well, because when you lay down a holy candle and wear a Saint Medallion, that actually drains the ghost's health faster. Eh, you know what? I don't I don't I don't have to do that. Um I need that as well. Yeah. All right. Time has stopped when looking in the chest, so I can be there as long as I want. All right, equip that. Let's go. I was thinking about bringing a holy candle with me, and then I realized that I don't really care about going that fast, so I don't I don't need it. But it is faster to lay down a holy candle, two of them, and then or the Saint Medallion to pin Cynthia.
sometimes this can take a while. Oh my god, come on, Cynthia. There. Uh, camera. Camera. Okay. See, look at that. You can totally just pause the game in between loads. It's kind of funny. Wait a minute, um, which one's the broken one? That one, okay. I know I want to keep that. That might be overkill, I don't need that many bullets, do I? No. What am I doing? I want to put that away. And I also want to put that away, yeah. Nope, don't go in the fridge, Henry. What are you doing? Henry, wash the thing. There. Thank you. Dang, I know there was a quick way to look at your health. Oh, it's the trigger button. Oh. That's how you do that. Okay. <laughs> I was trying to get a glimpse at my health. Which is why I, I kept pressing random buttons there. I was like, which button is it? Hurry, Henry, press the right button. All right, get this out. All right. Shooting kind of slowly, 
because I don't want to miss any of these shots. Because I kind of have to conserve ammo. should be one like right here right oh my god ah fuck and seven shots okay Seven. That is basically an entire clip. All right. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to get those. All right. It's technically faster to go up these stairs. I was about to say, I know that's the correct turnstile. Honestly, at this point, it's like, would there even be a point in me uploading a Neo commentary version of this? Honestly. Because I'm not saying much anyway, so. Eh. I'll still upload one. Because I know some people don't like a commentary, so. Oh my god, Henry picked this up there. Eileen, get out of the way, please. Okay, thank you. All right, Eileen, what shape are you in? All right, he's in great shape. All right. I will go for the best ending then. I will, I will go for it.
Oh my gosh. There. The reason why I did that just now was because Eileen was too close to the to the railing. So I didn't want her to get caught later, so I just ran back so I could readjust her position. Because the fastest way to get Eileen down these stairs right now is to run diagonally into the wall like this and then pull Eileen in this direction. And you want her to, and you want to make sure she's in kind of the middle of the stairs. Because if you don't do that, there will be like a part like around here where if Henry is like right here and Eileen oh, is space. like here, then Eileen will get caught in the stairs here and that'll waste like a couple seconds. Sometimes Eileen just won't move. It's kind of funny. So sometimes it won't be a couple seconds. It'll be like 15 seconds and it's like, Eileen, get to move on. It's kind of funny. Anyway. I... Oh, shit. Oh, boy. I'm going to have to take a unnecessary trip back to the hole, unfortunately. I don't want to do that, but I'm going to have to do it. All right. Oh my god. I forgot which button is run again because I'm because I'm using a new control scheme. Oh my god. Walking works. It actually oh fuck. There. Ignore everything I've said before about walking. It totally avoids sniffer dogs, guys. Ah fuck. I mean, I mean. Okay. That's a really easy to miss memo. Like that one right there. Like that one is easy to miss. All right, I I don't want to do this. I I don't want to do this, but um, wait. Let me think. Let me think about the items. Um, which path has the least amount of items? Okay, I know it's definitely not the northeast path. I I, I mean the northeast path, and it's not the no okay. This path over here has the least amount of items. So I will go over here. And then I'll go into the hole after this path. Usually you wouldn't pick up any items, but during a 10 star run, you do want to pick up items because you want health and you want ammo because you can never be too safe. Also, fun fact, uh, this room right here, the room that's like right in the middle of the screen right now, if you leave that room and then re-enter later, there will be new monsters in there. And it's funny, I think that's the only room in all of Forest World that does that. So that's kind of interesting, isn't it? Oh my God, Henry, pick those up there. All right, I don't want to do this, but I kind of have to, so. Ideally, you don't want to go into the hole at all during Forest World, but oh well.
So... Okay, that... And... That, okay. Oh, there's a fucking cat right there. Okay. When there are two or three hauntings in the kitchen, it's ideal to just actually... There. Because that will take care of both of those hauntings. So I technically just wasted a St. Medallion. Alright. That's all the hauntings taken care of, and... Uh, if I want to save Eileen, it might actually be a good idea to bring a backup golf club with me, honestly. But I don't know if that'll be ideal. Um, yeah, I shouldn't really bother, honestly, with that. And I have four health drinks. <laughs> That's kind of a lot, actually. All right. I mean, I might, I might as well. I mean, whatever. Usually, you don't want to dip the thing in the oil, but I mean, I'm here in my room, so no harm in it. This is not a speed run, so I don't know why I care about speed run things. Eileen! Don't get caught on the tree, Eileen! Are you with me? Yes, you are. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. No, nope, don't attack Eileen. I'm mashing the map button right now. Okay, thank God. I had to make sure Eileen was with me there. Sometimes it really can seem like she's close enough, but that's not always the case. Like, she'll be right next to you sometimes, and you'll go through a door. And... Nah. No. I, Eileen will be too far away. This writing. No, Eileen. It looks like Eileen, some stop. Kind of a diary. No. Here goes. Ah, uh, damn it, Eileen. Are you, are you with me? Are you with me? Hold on a second. Uh, no, but she's gonna come with me in a second. Okay, there. Alright, great. Thank you. 
you can leave Eileen back uh, when going through this portion without her getting possessed. So if you want to save Eileen, then you want to make sure you're bringing her into the the this portion and then and then that portion up there, but not this portion. Had a brain fart there for a second. I was like, uh, which way? I was like, which path? Uh, those paths. I'm being serious. I like completely forgot like what I was saying. I was like, oh fuck, is this even the right path I'm talking about? And I'm like, oh yeah, you don't want to bring her in the northeast path path because you can bring her into this path with you. I mean, you can you can leave her behind when going through this path and she won't get possessed. Oh fuck. And that's not the other way. That's not how the other paths work. So if you leave Eileen in the center when going through the southeast path, path, like she will get possessed a little bit at least. And that's no fun. I don't know why though. Um, I think it all depends on how long you leave Eileen behind for. But long story short, I have found that leaving Eileen in the center and going through the northeastern portion to be ideal. But not any other portion. So the northwest, no, you want to bring Eileen with you. Southeast, you want to bring Eileen with you. Also, in previous videos, I've said that once you trigger, um, w once you trigger, oh my gosh, once you trigger Jasper in that room, in this dungeon, he'll actually be in all these paths. That is not true. He's actually only in this path. So previously, in previous videos, I would say that you want to do this path last because you don't want Jasper following you throughout this dungeon. But that's not actually true. That, that, that is just not true because Jasper won't follow you in the other paths. He's only in the northeast path. The the northeast path. That is hard for me to say. The northeast path. <laughs> I keep saying past. I've also never been good with like directions in general. So yeah. Fucking all right. <laughs> I want this holy candle. There we go. Like, sometimes I will say stuff like, oh, go left, when I actually mean go right. And I won't even catch it. Or go east or north, when I mean, like, south or west. Also, that happens with numbers for some reason with me. Like, a, like a common example is when I want to say the number 15. For some reason, I'll just say five. So I'll say something like, I did that five times when I meant to say I did it 15 times and like I didn't even catch it. Like, like I, I didn't even notice that I said five. So I don't know. I guess you could say I'm audibly dyslexic. And it's funny, that does not happen with any under if with any other number. So when I say 13, I will never ever say 3. Or 14, I will never say 4 when I mean to say 14. It's only with the number 15. I don't know why. And that does not go to 50 either. Like, I'll say 50 and I'll mean 50. It's only when I mean to say 15. I don't know why that is. Alright, Eileen, you with me?
Eileen. Oh my god. <laughs> Walter. Eileen. Okay, there. Henry. Oh, fuck. I did not mean to do that. You don't have to worry about Eileen getting possessed by moth bats. Um, they don't do that much damage. That one's Shmoovman. Sh look at it go. Whoa. It's Shmoovin all right. Oh, this one don't want to die. This one don't want to get hit. And it disappeared. Oh my god. Uh, uh. Oh my god. There. There. Okay. Hi, Eileen. Sorry about that, Eileen. I kind of have to do that. Oh, look at this. Nice. All right. It's so damp and gross here. Eileen, over here. Gosh. Oh. As soon as that is said and not to kill it, it flew right next to me. I could have killed it then, but no. Oh my gosh. This weapon is actually really slow. I'm just checking for respawns right now. pistol bullets in here.
Uh, can I get it? Can I get it? Yes. There. Oh my god. That one's too low. Oh, there we go. Okay. Um, I'm wondering if I should bring an extra Saint Medallion with me. That might be a good decision for a uh, forest world. I mean, building world. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, there. All right. Can I put the Can I put the bullet in the gun while I'm in my room? Huh, I guess I guess not. Okay. Also, I am actually going to get this out because this is actually a better weapon than the than than than, than the torch. Um I got a plan out for building world. It might be a good it, it might be a good idea to bring an extra Saint Medallion with me. I don't know. Honestly, it might be a good idea to bring some extra nutrition drinks as well. Maybe. I mean I'm on I'm on full health anyway, so I guess I'll just book it. And I'm going to save before before the water prison twin victim room anyway, so I guess I can just plan out between saves. Fun fact, Link will sneeze in the windmill in Ocarina of Time. Just like Eileen does in this game. It's weird. And it's only in the windmill. I don't think he sneezes in any other place in that game. 
I mean, he might. But if he does, then I don't know about it. Wait, actually, I think he sneezes in Ice Cavern. I can put that and that away. Okay, no haunting there. All right. I'm just checking all of the places for all of the all of the silent hauntings because some of them don't make sound. All right. Um, I guess I'll save here. All right, 107, and that will be the first save as I plan my route for Building World Second Time. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. All right, I am back. I guess it would technically be a little easier to go off the torch for a little bit but I gotta stay true to the title of this video which is a 10 star paper cutting knife so yeah Eileen's in really, really good shape. Oh my god, Eileen, why did you stop there? Okay, fuck. Whatever then. She had a clear path, but she just but she just stopped, like right there. And decided to look a twin victim straight in the face. Amazing. Alright. Anyway. <laughs> I, I don't know. Let's do that again. I'm keeping that in the video. I, I, I don't even care. I mean, I never mess that up either. Like, I never ever mess up the twin victim room strat, but... There I go. It's just one of those days. I 
Eileen, don't stop and say hi to the twin victim. Don't stop to say hi to the twin victim, Eileen. Eileen! 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 There. <laughs> I'm actually going to pick up the nutrition drink for backup. Oh my god, Henry, pick that up. There we go. I keep doing that. I, I, I keep saying no to these items. Actually, it would be yeah, because that's what it says in Japanese. Mm. Now. Henry just clipped there for a second. Did you see that? It's like he jumped forward a few frames. Thank you. 
Uh. Alright, just making sure there's no haunting there. Is the TV? Is it the, is it the chair? Oh my gosh! For some reason, I never see this haunting here. Like, for some reason, whenever I get this haunting, it takes me a while to actually notice it. Which is funny, because it's like one of the most obvious hauntings, like, ever. Oh my gosh. That, that, that is kind of funny. Alright, anyway. It is not optimal or fast at all to do this, but if you want to save Eileen, it's actually a good idea to come in here and kill all of these um, birds. I mean, these moth bats, just so they're not hitting Eileen later. There. All of them, actually. Okay. Narrowly dodge those wheelchairs there. Nice. Oh my god, you gotta be facing this to examine it. Oh my goodness. Oh wait, what am I doing? You want to go to the top floor right now. Ah, oh, fuck. That's the wrong button. Uh-oh. I remember this place. There. <laughs> A lot like downtown Ashfield. All right, we gotta run out of here because Richard is like right down there, and he will teleport up here. Oh my God. Oh. 
This is terrible RNG. All right, here's how you go about this. This is how you deal with this situation. Go in here. Do not wait for Eileen. Just don't even bother. Re-enter. The dog's positions should reset, and they're not resetted. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh. All right. Up. 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 All right. There. Eileen! Get a move on, Eileen! Okay. I think Eileen's kind of fun, honestly. one of the funniest things about this game it's coming up in a second I always found this so funny so you have a cake up here and you need to put the candles on the cake now anyone else in this situation would just throw the candles on the cake and say fuck it and call it a day but Henry places them all neatly on the cake oh god Like, like, I, like, I can just imagine Henry just, like, placing them down on the cake as Henry and a ghost watches him do it. Oh my god. He does it slowly, meticulously. Oh my god. Anyway. Uh, I gotta get a move on. Nice. I don't want to do this, but I have to. I, I have to heal, unfortunately. Because you never know what will go wrong, so... Yeah. Okay, there, there. I should keep that on, actually. I, I should keep the Saint Medallion on. And... You know what? I just need one with me. God damn it. <laughs> it's because of this new fangled control scheme that I'm using. Okay, get rid of that. Get rid of that. And... Uh... I could bring a backup golf club if I really wanted to. Great. Actually... No. I need to heal first. I have three first aid kits. Nice. Damn it. There. Anyway. Okay. Haunting is gone. Great. My my room movement and menuing was so sloppy there because I'm using type C instead of type A. And type A is uh, new to me. I mean, type C is new to me.
I don't like how I, ha how I have one clip that has four bullets with it. My lane, hurry! Alright. Oh my god, I'm stuck. Okay. People complain about Eileen getting stuck in this game. Psht, man. More like Henry gets stuck, am I right? I find it really cool how Jasper is holding the thing that he used to carve his numbers into himself with. Alright. I don't have enough room. Wait, yeah, I do actually. Okay. Oh, thank God. Okay. What the fuck? Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, did anybody else? Um, no, okay. Oh my god, Eileen. I would have gone for it, but just for the sake of this being completely glitchless, I decided not to. Oh my god. What are the chances? What are the chances?
What? What the fuck? <laughs> Alright. I've always had really good one truth luck. That was amazing. Okay. So that was building world without any glitches or skips. How about that? Oh my gosh. I've made that mistake so many times. Fucking stop. Stop it, me. Henry, stop.
All right, how much health do I have, honestly? Uh, we're good enough. Clear my throat. There's like holy candle in there, but whatever. I think this is the strongest golf club in the game. Also, that that's Jasper. I mean, not that's Richard's uh, hotel room. I mean, apartment room. So kind of fitting that he's there. Useful items in here. Just the bullets, no. Oh my god, what the fuck am I doing? I almost forgot about that. I'm wondering if I should get the ampule. I mean, maybe it might be good backup for Walter. Just maybe. I'm not going to bother getting it. I don't really feel like it. My movement is really sloppy.
Oh my god. I'm really happy they're not on the stairs this time. Like, sometimes the bottom and the twin victim will be, like, right on the stairs, and that's no fun. What haunting? What's happening? Oh, it's probably the couch. Yeah. There. Is that good? Maybe. Yeah, we're in the we're in the clear. Okay, great. All right, let's go. Let's try it. <laughs> ah, damn it. I need this one because that one's actually that one charges up quickly and a four I think a four is pretty strong all right All right, I need to see which uh, golf club I want to start out with. Okay, that one charges really fast. So does that one. This one charges up slowly. This one also charges up slowly, but this one is a uh, Long and strong. All right, I'll start with that one.
Oh, God damn it. <laughs> that hitbox is kind of ridiculous. Okay, there. There we go. Silent Hill 4, one weapon mode, with the paper cutting knife, with no building world skip, 10 stars, with the best ending. There you have it. There you have it. Look at this. I have a save on normal mode, one weapon mode, and all weapon mode. All with uh, 10 stars and the best ending. That is phenomenal. Thanks for watching, everybody.